All right, guys, what is up? It is Nisha here, doing another video for you guys today. Don't mind my hair. Um, it was completely silly in the last video. It's going to be com completely very, very silly in this one as well. So, just like how Pokemon Go had expanded... I'm not reading from a script, by the way. Just like how Pokemon Go had expanded from having Pokemon only for the first generation and later moved on to second, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links intends to expand its card pool and character selection to match that of the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX series. So, it makes sense, since Fusion card archetypes... Um, Fusions and card archetypes are already <laughs> are already in the game, but leaves a lot of questions for what to, for what's to come in the future. I myself have only played Duel Links in the first like two months, two to three months uh, of its uh, existence, and you know it's a real solid and uh, addicting game. It gets the feel of classic Yu-Gi-Oh, brings it to a modern platform, simplifying game mechanics in ways like lowering hand and field size, making it a low uh, low entry level with a high ceiling type of game. It only, it only contains roughly 10% of the total amount of cards in, like, the Yu-Gi-Oh! game in total. And so, like, in existence. But still finds ways to carry a rich and diverse card pool. So, I don't mind the expansion of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. I just hope... Uh, I just have a few wishes. So, you know, if, if you didn't catch that, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links intends to go from uh, only having the characters and cards from the first Yu-Gi-Oh! Well, the cards are actually... From all the different Yu-Gi-Ohs, which is actually kind of funny because they use cards from all over, but it's focused on the first Yu-Gi-Oh. So now you, Duel Links tends to expand itself to the second Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh GX, and you know I have a few. Uh, I just have a few hopes to what um, I think Konami should do with the game. Number one, make Yu-Gi-Oh GX an optional expansion due to space constraints. Now this is something more personal, just because. Uh, like before I got an SD card like my phone, I was real tight with space and Duel Links was just one of those games I just had to end up deleting just because of space, honestly. And so, making Yugo GX an optional expansion, like to get all the characters and cards and everything optional, but still not have it affect my game experience if I don't want it, would be real nice. Um, unless, you know, it doesn't take up too much space, because, you know, that's, that would be a whole different thing. But if it takes up a lot of space, like make it optional. Like don't force everybody to go into, to get all these these cards and images from GX just because, um, you know, it's a new thing, everybody has to have it. Make it so that um, if I want the GX cards, I get the GX cards. If I don't want the GX cards, I don't get the GX cards. I'm fine with my deck the way it is, and I don't want to fit, <laughs> I don't have enough space to get all this GX stuff over here. So, you know, it's, it's not something that is going to be a problem for everybody. But I think it's something that uh, they should at least put into consideration, like, how much space is it going to take up? Because if it takes up a lot of space, should we make everybody download it? I don't know what I'm doing. So two, capture the feel of Yugo GX and have a wide selection of characters. So Yugo Duel Links did an amazing job capturing the feel of the first Yugo. Um, with uh, the character dialogue and the way they interact with each other versus the dialogue in the duels. Um, and, you know, being able to pick the character that you play as and being able to edit their decks, um, edit their skills, it really uh, gives you a lot of customization for uh, the game experience and it really uh, makes it feel like, okay, like, this really feels like the first Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, this is real crazy. And so I feel like they should also just make sure that that stays the same in Duel Links. Like that, <laughs> what I said Duel Links. In Duel Links GX. I don't know if they're going to call it that. Um, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Links. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX era. Yu-Gi-Oh! GX season. Whatever they want to call it. Yu-Gi-Oh! GX expansion. Yu-Gi-Oh! GX generation. Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. Anything. Whatever they decide to call it. Just make sure it stays the same um, in, that, uh, in that field. Just because... Uh, you know, like, you, you want this to be an immersive game. You want this to be a game that people keep on playing. And it, it was done so well at the first Yu Gi Oh! I would hate to see it, um, you know, like, get ruined with Yu Gi Oh! GX. Although I'm not really the biggest fan of GX, I, didn't, I barely even watched it. Um, I'm more of a 5D uh, type of guy, but, you know, like, just give the series justice. You know, wide selection of characters, again, of not only heroes, but villains as well, because they did that at the first Yu Gi Oh! Uh, just make sure that, you know, I, I get to, like, if, if I was a big GX fan, like, I would get to play as who I want to play as. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, like, sometimes the game companies tend to cut out that type of stuff, but, you know, that, that type of stuff is real important. Just because, you know, the first you go, I'm sure they can deal with GX as well. 
Lastly, we have, I, I want them to expand the master rule mechanics of the game to later have synchros, exceeds, and possibly even link monsters. Now, link monsters kind of seems like something they might have done from the beginning, just because it's called dual links, link monsters. They could have easily gave the deck, I mean, gave the deck, they could have easily gave the game an extra monster zone, um, like in the uh, speed duels in Arc V, just have like three zones, one on the right, one on the left. Um, and then middle zone. That's, <laughs> that's it, just have three zones, one on the right, one on the left. Add a few link monsters. Now, Duel Links is a very simple game. They don't have to add every single synchro. They don't have to add every single exceed. They don't have to add every single archetype. Everything in Duel Links is dumbed down to match the three by three card field. And it's done in a way where it's, it's done real well. It really doesn't ruin uh, the game experience unless you're somebody who's already a competitive player and you know it feels like a step backward. But even then, it feels like a new experience. It feels like its own experience. And I feel like uh, adding synchros and exceeds later down the line wouldn't really hurt Konami in that regard. And, um, you know, it would still feel like minimalistic, of, or like an indie version of the actual Yu-Gi-Oh! And it can something that can grow even bigger um, because, you know, usually, like, when you think about mobile games these days, um, you think of games that, you know, kind of have, like, this... I can play it forever type of uh, gimmick to them, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like something like Pokemon Go, it's like that's something you can play every day, you know? But when it comes to like the console games, like the DS games and uh, you know, all this and that, it's like they have a limit. Like you can only update a DS game so much to a point where it feels like is it even the same game anymore. With Duel Links or mobile games, you can do that as much as you want. In console games, that that gets criticized heavily. You know, look at Street Fighter V. But in mobile games, it's not going to be a problem just because that's what people expect. We expect it to get better. We expect there to be more. We expect there to be growth and change. So uh, adding synchros and exceeds could be something that can really help the game out in the future just because it's something that can, be, that can help either the players who have never played actual Yu-Gi-Oh! experience that, because I know there are a lot of people who play Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, duel links that don't actually play actual Yu-Gi-Oh, and um, you know they're, they they are familiar with the rules and the mechanics of the game and the um, the specifics and a lot of things about the game. And although duel links I think does it well, um, you know there's still a lot of room for improvement. So yeah, uh, just like uh, that, like that's something that would get me back into duel links. Like if they added like exceeds and synchros and feet and um, and link monsters. Maybe not pendulums, because pendulums wouldn't really offer too much. But you know, it can still be something that happens in the future. Like just have a like the simplistic version. Maybe a few perform palm monsters. Maybe a few of uh, like uh, uh, like obscure archetypes here and there. Because in Duel Links, it's kind of like the more obscure archetypes that are in the regular game that kind of shine in Duel Links, just because of how more simplistic Duel Links is. Um, so it, it's, it's really something that, you know, it, it's kind of like a new field and a new, and a different type of way of playing Yu-Gi-Oh! So, like, Konami can't take it the same way that they take the very way game. But I would still like to see the Master Rule update. That's, that's something that I think would get me back into the game, and I think would get more people playing the game in general. Like, if I were able to play as you say, if I were to hear you say, on my phone every single day, I don't think I would stop playing that game. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If I were to play as the characters from, from Zexel, although I don't like too many of their English voices, um, I still like the characters themselves and some of the character design. So it would be something that I would enjoy doing as well. Like, enjoy playing a lot as well. Especially since, you know, it feels like I never really got to play as them in a game before. So, yeah. Those are really the three things that I hope uh, Duel Links continues to do. Um, uh, with, you know, like those are those are my three wishes with Ego Duel Links uh, pertaining to the expansion of Ego GX. You know, just make sure that you keep expanding, make sure that you make it something that you like because they brought it to Yu Gi Oh Worlds this year. They brought it to Worlds 2017, the biggest Yu Gi Oh tournament you can ever be in ever. They 
had Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links in its very own sections, which technically made it an eSport. It made Yu-Gi-Oh! an eSport this year. And I feel like moving on, if they continue to use Duel Links as like a game you can compete in, it's something that's going to attract more players. It has a bigger competition. You know what I'm saying? It's like games with a smaller competition, it's harder to attract players to it because of the lack of competition. The lack, because competition usually, usually brings growth, it brings diversity. When you don't have that, everybody usually feels the same way about the game, usually. But when you have competition, it's way more spread. You know what I'm saying? It's like there's way more room to grow, there's way more room to change the game and, you know, for people to get excited about it. I mean, look at games like Smash Bros. You know what I'm saying? Although, it seems like a casual game, but because of the competitive scene around it, the, the competitiveness around it, especially a game like Melee, where it was no, nowhere near intended to be competitive, but because of the scene and because of the growth of the community, it, it stays a competitive game. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I feel Konami should keep in mind with their, as they expand Duel Links into the Yugo GX saga. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This was Nisha here. See you on the next one. Peace. Yeah, Dolan's is...